Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 Zinger 280RB travel trailer by Crossroads RV. We're going to take a minute, run you through the inside and outside of the RV, show you what this thing's all about. Great couples coach here. Let's check it out on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Zinger 280 RB travel trailer here. We're gonna spin our way through the inside and then we're gonna head outside, show you that as well, and close it up at the end. So let's start up here in your master bedroom area. So right here we have hanging closet on each side of the bed area. Overhead shelf space, two LED lights here. There's USB charger ports and electric outlets on both sides of the queen bed here. Now you'll notice some electric outlets throughout the RV that have little lightning bolt symbols on them. Those are part of the prepping for an inverter if you wanted to add an inverter to the RV. Up top above the window here, there's a backer in the wall so you could mount your TV. You have your cable and electric outlet there. The window does open and a light switch over here on the wall. There is storage below the bed if you want to use it. Heat duct in the floor. AC duct in the ceiling. There is a roof vent currently in this version. And you also have, this one was ordered with prepping for a second air. So if you wanted to do a second air, it drops in right here. Window over there opens, sliding door for privacy. Stepping on back out to your kitchen area. So this was ordered with the freestanding table and four chairs. Nice big window. That's your dinette area here. USB charger ports and light switches in between the windows there. The two big windows do open, but the little one on the side of the slide does not. Do you have some carpet on the slide floor? All vinyl floor on the main subfloor. Currently using a Coleman air conditioner. It again is ducted. decent amount of overhead cabinet space. Let's check this out here real quick. The window down below here does also open. Controls for your AC and furnace along with controls for your on-demand water heater. High-rise sprayer faucet, double bowl under mount sink. Down below here, you have more storage, and I forgot to get out the sink covers. You have three full extending ball burn drawer guided drawers. The Furion oven, which has the glass front and the light in it as well. You also have the light up knobs and three burner gas stove top with the flip down glass lid for extra counter space if you're not cooking. And you have your hood range light and fan and your traditional microwave. Currently using the Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So they do the freezer on top and the refrigerator part on the bottom. Now we have the Furion 30 inch electric fireplace. You have a sound bar there, room for a nice size TV as well. A little bit of overhead storage space and you can see right there electric outlet and cable outlets for the TV if you decide to do a TV. Okay. 
sofa over here will flip down and make into a small bed and you also have some storage underneath the sofa as well. Sliding door to block off your bedroom or your bathroom for privacy. That bathroom is large enough to be a bedroom. Uh, you do have prepping for a 4G LTE Wi-Fi system, Gateway Connect, that you can buy aftermarket and put here. So it has the WineGuard Air 360 Plus TV antenna on the roof. With that Gateway Connect, if you bought that and put on here, you would be able to subscribe to, say, like AT&T or Verizon or somebody and get their wireless internet system and bring it into the RV that way. Right by the entry door there, you have your electric box with the breakers and fuses, fire extinguisher there as well, and some controls for your awning, slide, lights, monitor panels, and water pump all right here. Now here just inside the entry door area, you have a large pantry, which is basically kind of hidden behind your TV. But this is a big closet and area for storage. All right, now let's check out this bathroom. This thing is massive. So you have double vanity here, double medicine cabinets, lots of storage. Well, let's open it up over here, kind of check it out. So you got plenty of room here for towels and linens and all that type of stuff. There is again an electric outlet there that is part of the prepping for the inverter. Medicine cabinets are basically the same on each side. Large window in the back here does open. You have a roof vent back here, AC and heat ducts back here, porcelain foot flush toilet. Now over here we have even more storage. Walk-in shower here, so just step right on up in there. You have a, another roof vent up there as well. And then right here, we have another massive closet or stackable or combination washer dryer area. So you have shelf up here, light in here as well. Little hang bar, you have electric outlets back there, water and drain outlets as well. So you could do a stack or combo washer dryer here if you want. Pretty, pretty cool bathroom back here. Tons of room to get in and out of here and maneuver around. All right, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside real quick. Then we'll come back in and close her up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Zinger. 280 RV by Crossroads RV here. We're gonna start here on the door side of the RV and kind of work our way around. So first things up, we have a white aluminum exterior with a little bit of kind of teals and blacks made into it as well. Some vinyl graphics. You have deep tent safety glass windows. Power awning with the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV and you have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. Now across the front section here, you do have a large pass-through storage compartment right here. There is a light on this side as well. Also, while we're looking here, we have prepping for side cameras. There's one on the front corner here, one on the other front corner, and then the back. So you could do a multi-camera system on this unit if you wanted. They're currently using an on-demand water heater, you can see right here. Then you have your gravity fill fresh water tank right here, an electric outlet right here, and there is a cable outlet right here, so you could set you up a TV out here if you wanted to. The furnace exhaust out right here. Looking just down below here, you can see your fresh water tank drain. They're currently using the inch and a half drain valve, so it will drain out much faster. 
Also, you can see the power front jacks right here, and you also have power rear jacks. And there is also an enclosed underbelly on the bottom of this as well. Dual axle unit, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. They're currently using the Lippert Solid Step, rated for 400 pounds, has adjustable feet and flips up inside the doorway when you're not using it and traveling. Two outdoor speakers, stove exhaust above the Zinger name there as well. Large folding entry handle, entry door and screen doors, kind of a traditional entry door and screen door, no window in there. You'll see your model number located right here, GIN 280RB. You'll also see the sticker kind of promoting the three-year limited structural warranty. Not all brands have that. Some only have a one. Extreme weather package and the Camp Easy package as far as power tongue jack, power awning, and power stabilizer jacks. Down below here, you can see hot and cold low point water drains and your rear stabilizer jacks. Again, power jacks. Stepping back here a little bit so you can see better. This one was ordered with the ladder on the back. That'll get you up onto the roof so you can walk around, inspect things, check out your seams and seals and stuff. Uh, ladder is rated for 250 pounds. Spare tire mounted on the back four inch square two bumper. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in that bumper. The roof does have a nice arch to it, so it helps with water runoff. You also have, again, prepping in the top center there for the Furion rear observation camera. Right here, you have a cable outlet, or inlet, I'm sorry, cable goes in here. You have your black tank flush right here, city water inlet, and a hot and cold outside utility shower right here as well. Now this one was ordered with 50 amp electric service. So you have the detachable 50 amp cord stretching out probably 30 feet roughly, I'd say. That allows you to be prepped for a second air conditioner. If you wanted to add a second air conditioner, you could do so if you have the 50 amp service. Down here, you can see your gray and black tank dump area. Now that part right here for the bathroom comes out in this one area. There's a second dump for the kitchen sink up in front of the axles you'll see when we get there. I'm just kind of stepping back here so you can see a little bit up there on the top of the roof. You know, there are things like plumbing stack vents in the back back here, the uh, crank up vent in the bathroom. The little round black dome there is your Air 360 Plus by Weingard. That's a nice feature. Then you also have your air conditioner in the middle there. Slide out is an electric slide, and I forgot to mention when we were over on the other side, there's a hole going through the fender, um, and that is where you slide the uh, wrench through there to basically manually crank it in in case of an electronic failure. So it does have an override in case of an electronic failure. Down here, you can see the other side of the power jacks, and again, you could manually crank these up from this side if you needed to. Uh, case of an electronic failure. And then you also have your galley dump right here. Just kind of looking at the other side of the storage compartment here, there is prepping for a solar panel. And then right up there, there's also prepping and some wiring for an inverter as well. Um, that is an option available when ordering these things. You can order them with solar panels if you want. Talk with your salesperson about that. This customer chose not to do that. Now right here, I have some really important informational stickers. I wanna pop up these three stickers for you. The very first one popping up is your main production date sticker. This has production date, VIN number, you know, axle sizes, gross vehicle weight, and all that type of stuff on there. Unloaded vehicle weight as well. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker. Again, just kind of giving you some more gear information here about what you can put into the RV. And next is your tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Make sure you keep up with your tire pressure. Front is rounded back a little bit, so it does have a decent little slope to it. It's not your traditional flat front RV, um, so it is a little bit more rounded. 
two 20 pound propane tanks under the hard bottle cover there. Power tongue jack, light built in, manual override in case of an electronic failure again. And then you also have two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety change, seven way Bargman wiring plug. There is room back here for one or possibly two batteries depending on the size of the battery you go with. Right here you do have a uh, 12 volt power distribution box with the battery disconnect on it. And then just over there is a solar uh, port that you could plug in a portable solar panel up to 20 amps to also consider using to charge your battery if you're boondock camping. So you could, from the factory or even aftermarket, do a roof mount version, throw a second portable panel on the side to really boost it up if you needed to. All right, thanks a ton guys for watching my RV video here. We're gonna run back inside and close it up for you. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Zinger 280 RV by Crossroads RV here. I just wanna show you real quick what it looks like closed up. So when you are ready to actually close the thing up, you do have to step right inside your entry door there to your control panel. And you're gonna have your slide button here that says enter out. So this is pretty simple. This is a 12 volt slide. So you push the button, the slide tilts upward a little bit. It's more of a flush floor slide. So it does have to tilt upward a hair to come in over top of the subfloor. It'll come right on in and kind of settle back down and stop. You may hear kind of a ratchety noise, basically just a slip gear letting you know it's all the way in. All right, so pretty simple. So just to kind of get you an idea here, I can come in the RV, get to my closet, fully get to my bathroom. I can get to my kitchen and refrigerator. So I could load some groceries in here or come in here if I'm in a rest area, wash my hands, use the bathroom, whatever. But I'm not getting to the bedroom. You will have to bump the slide out out to get to the bedroom part. But other than that, the rest of the camper is pretty much usable. And then when you are ready to go back out, all you gotta do, just do the opposite, hit the button here and run it right on out. Now it is very, very important when you are opening and especially when you are closing the RV to make sure nothing is in the way of the slide. Make sure you sweep your floor. You don't want any rocks or pebbles, you know, kids toys, whatever, you know, pet food or anything like that in the way. Because the slide can run it over it get trapped in between your linoleum and the slide floor and damage your linoleum. So very, very important, clean the floor before you close any slide out. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a ton of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.